Hi guys, today I'll be making a vanilla souffle. Look at them fresh from the oven. They've risen so nicely, evenly, and just smelling gorgeous. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. We'll need two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of flour, two tablespoons of castor sugar, two eggs separated, half a cup of regular white milk, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and of course four souffle bowls. I got these at my local Big Lots because Walmart doesn't carry them anymore for some reason. Two big mixing bowls and a saucepan. Of course you guys know in order to make the castor sugar, just go ahead and put the regular sugar in a blender or a magic bullet and blend for like a minute or two and you'll have castor sugar. So now I'm preparing my souffle bowls by adding a little bit of butter to each of them. And of course, you know the proper name for these are ramekins, but I'm calling them souffle bowls. I'm using a clean brush to spread the butter thinly on the bottom of the bowl first. And then I'm going to sweep my brush in an upwards direction to coat the sides because this will cause the souffle to bake more evenly. It'll, it'll also cause it to rise more evenly too. And you want to go ahead and prepare your bowls well in advance because you won't have time at the end, okay? So that's all I'm going to do is spread the butter in all four and then now I'm going to use a little bit of my castor sugar and I'm going to coat it on top of the butter. This is kind of like what we do when we're preparing the pans for cake but in that case we use flour instead of the sugar. I want to go ahead and dump my excess sugar back in the big bowl because I'm going to need it for another part of the recipe. And once I have all these four bowls prepared, set them aside and then I move over to the stove. I'm going to use my nice thick non-stick saucepan. I have the heat on medium and I'm just going to add my butter in and all I want to do is melt the butter. I don't want it to cook or burn, okay? I'm using a wooden spoon and that's important. Something to do with evaporation. You know I don't really know the science of all this stuff but just use a wooden spoon, okay? So I'm putting in my flour and I'm going to stir briskly to make sure no lumps form and make sure it doesn't burn too, okay? So I'm just going to take my time here. It doesn't take very long, like 30 seconds or so and once no lumps are there what I want to do is go ahead and remove my saucepan completely from the fire because the grates hold heat, okay? Now over to the microwave I go and I heat my milk up for like a minute in the microwave. Then I move everything over to the counter and I'm adding my milk in very slowly because I don't want any lumps to form. And of course you guys know use a sieve if lumps form, okay? But I'm okay this time around. Stir it till it's smooth and then back over to the stove on medium heat stirring until it comes to a boil or until bubbles form. Officially this is called white sauce and after we get it smooth and the bubbles come again move it completely off of the burner because you know it's still hot. Take it over to the counter put a pinch of salt put our vanilla extract and make sure that we stir everything in completely before we start adding other ingredients and at this point I'm going to add my egg yolks and of course you guys know that one of my yolks had busted when I cracked it so I'm just adding a little bit at a time and now I guess this is not white sauce anymore because the egg yolks are making it yellow. So I'm scraping everything out of my bowl and just stirring until it's smooth like a custard. Beautiful. So now I want to remove it from the saucepan because it has heat still and we don't want it to evaporate. So I put it in one of my nice big clean bowls and I'm using my other bowl now to just put my egg whites using the hand mixer on high. I'm going to whip the whites till firm peaks, peaks form and I'm using my castor sugar. This is what we needed the rest of the castor sugar for. And look, firm peaks, it takes a little while but you know you'll get there. So now all that's left to do is to mix it all together and the first thing I want to do is take a third of the egg whites and add it to this bowl that I'm going to call like the custard bowl. This is the bowl of the custard. Add a third of the egg whites in and stir or whisk, I should say whisk, until everything is blended really really well. And then we're going to do the reverse. Instead of adding the rest of the egg whites to this custard, we're going to add all the custard to the remaining egg whites. And for you guys who know me, you guys know that I love custard, but I just don't eat it anymore because I binge when I eat it. So this is looking so good, I'm drooling. So I'm going to use my whisk and just whisk it all up until it's nice and blended and smooth. See? Beautiful. And then what I do next is spoon the souffle batter into each bowl. 
And you guys know, in hindsight, I should have probably filled these bowls up a little bit more. But this is only like the second time I've made souffle. So, you know, I'm learning as I go along. But in any case, now what I do is take my thumb and I move it along the top part of the batter. And this will also cause it to bake more straight, okay, and bake more evenly. So just kind of move it along, get it all even. Look, I'm going to show you this close up on the last one because I just love the way it looks. You guys know I love cooking, right? I just absolutely love doing the show and I love cooking. And I just love even looking at this. This looks so gorgeous. Putting the last batch in my last souffle bowl and sticking my thumb there and go ahead around the edge get it all even Steven and then I put it on this baking tray and into the oven it goes at 390 degrees Fahrenheit preheated for 12 to 15 minutes and then out it comes look at it lovely right now let's garnish it and taste hey guys check it out check it out and all we're gonna do is sprinkle some powdered sugar Awesome. See, they're straight, right? These two wanted to go more, but <laughs> I've got Jada with me. Come, Jada. Take a look. What do you think? They look pretty good. They look pretty good. Oh my goodness. It's light and souffle -y. Is that a word? No. Souffle -y? It's not? <laughs> I just made up a word, you guys. It's hot. Blow it. All right, guys. So as you can see, it was very simple to make. It only had a few ingredients. I think there were like six ingredients. In the future, we're going to do a chocolate one, okay? Now, I want to warn you guys that it moves pretty fast once you start making it. So if you're kind of slow in the kitchen and don't know really what you're doing, go get somebody to help you, okay? Because it moved pretty swiftly. And the one thing that you don't want to do when it's baking is open the oven. That's like the worst thing you can do, it'll fall. But anyways, this souffle uh, came out wonderful. This is only like the second time I've tried it. Uh, the first time was off camera, and then this time I tried it on camera for you guys. But I'm very pleased with how it came out, because this souffle is one of the things that people don't try to cook because it's like, oh no, it's gonna fall, so I waste my time. But it didn't use a lot of ingredients, so we can always do it again and again if it messes up, right? Anyways, if you liked the video, hit like below, share it with your friends and family for me. Thank you so much for picking up my book, and in the very near, near future, Jada's book will be available for sale, all right? I'll let you guys know when that's coming up. So, thanks guys, and until I see you again, take care. All right, so time for me to taste. Please check out my review channel right here on YouTube. It's called Bear Family Talk. Also, check out my blog channel. It's called Babs Bear Talk. Oh, it's like a light mousse. So good. Too good to share.